Once upon a time, in the magical dimension, far, far away, there was a normal Earth girl who discovered she was a fairy and a princess. Her life was changed forever into a fairy tale, a story of courage, friendship, and adventure. It is an enchanted story, but one without a happily ever after, because she has not been able to write the ending. Until now. to welcome us. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Anybody home? Anybody home? Anybody home? Um, is there anybody else?
cold. And I'm going to turn up the heat. Go for it, Bloom. We'll cover you. As Stella would say, let's powder their noses. <laughs> Look out! This is a problem. They're tougher than we thought and uglier, too. Maybe this will slow them down. Magic Winding Ivy! Don't move. Are you hurt? It hurts, but I think I'm okay. I'll be fine. Now. Their control unit is behind that wall. Please hurry. I can't hold them anymore. Wait! Get ready! Four Dragon Energy! Fusion Fire! Robots reduced to scrap metal in less than two minutes. Nice. That's what I call teamwork, girls. No way. It's more than just teamwork. Winx Club teamwork. We might need more. I've detected another presence nearby, and it's coming right at us. Hagen, the swordsmith. Keep your eyes open. Hagen, master of the shiny steel, are you in here? Stella, can you give us a little light? Sure thing. Shining is what I do best. Hey, what's going on? Hagen, the swordsmith from the Company of Light. Now I'm more comfortable in the shadows. Take another step, and it will be your last. I found them. Whoa! Good heavens. I can only hope I'm not too late. You and your friends have invaded my fortress and destroyed my guards. But you won't have such luck against me. Hagen, we're all a little bored with you and your sword. And Mistress Farragonda! By a thousand stars. Farragonda, is it really you? My dear Hagen, it's been ages. Centuries at least since the mighty Company of Light disbanded. You look... Older. But what we lose in youth, we gain in wisdom if we've paid attention along the way. Now lower your sword in the presence of Bloom, the last surviving princess of Sparks. Oratel and Marion's daughter? She's alive? I... I thought she was... No, my old friend. Our Bloom was rescued. She grew up on Earth under the care of adoptive parents. And now she's come back here to find her natural parents. This is not the place to shed light on the past. Now is the time for you to finally accept the invitation you've been avoiding for all these long, dark years. Hmm. Fine, Farragonda. I won't argue with a beautiful adversary. <laughs> Good. Then we can finally talk about Althea. So, we finally coaxed you out of your den, you old bear. Fairies? <laughs> is everything always so colorful and frivolous around here, or is today special? <laughs> it is the day of the gift, Hagen. Today, some of our students will graduate and forever leave Althea. Their magical journey ends with this ceremony. But for Bloom, her journey continues. That's why I need to talk to you, Master Hagen. Um. I know my parents, my real parents, are lost or trapped somewhere in the magic dimension. I must save them, and you're the only one who can help me. Don't expect too much from me, little girl. 
You might be disappointed. The sword, Hagen. The sword of King Oratel, my father. Ah, the sword, of course. An enchanted blade that no force in the universe can separate from its rightful owner. Eternal and indestructible. The master of the shiny steels. Greatest work. At least that's what the books of magic say. As its creator, you can sense the sword's presence, wherever it is. And if I can find that sword, I'll find my father. Oh, Bloom. I have made thousands of swords in my life. But for your father, I created the strongest one of them all. A sword. A banner. Strong enough to bring him and all of us ultimate victory. We were the most powerful warrior wizards our world had ever seen. United against the diabolical ancestral witches. We fought them all until the final bloody end. But instead of ultimate triumph, we paid the ultimate fatal price. I was fighting beside him on that day. It was the three ancestral witches' final battle against King Moritel and Queen Marion, your parents. They had vanished along with the witches into a great vortex of dark power, and there was nothing that I could do. Even the greatest magical sword I had ever created wasn't strong enough to save them. And since that day, I have never stopped looking for them. Every single day of my life, I've tried to sense the power of the King's mighty sword. To find my closest friends, your mother and your father. Do you understand? But the magic dimension is so big, you couldn't have looked everywhere. Bloom. I know what you believe in your heart. But face reality. I'm sorry, Bloom. No, no! <laughs> Tell us what happened. No, Stella. You're a good friend to Bloom. But right now, she needs time to be alone. So come on, girls. The ceremony is about to begin. After three years of hard work and more than a little unforeseen excitement, your experience here at the Althea School for Fairies is nearing its end. And now, in the presence of your closest friends, you will celebrate the Day of the Gift. <laughs> it is time for our proud graduates to take up their mantles as guardian fairies. It's time to achieve ultimate harmony. <laughs> Step forward, graduates. just not in the mood to play with either of you. But don't worry, it's not your fault. It's just, I feel as if all the colors of the world are gone. <laughs> but you're so sweet. What is your name? Do you have one? Ron? Ron, yes. I think that'll be a good name for you. <laughs> These fine little jewelry boxes contain the power of harmony. This is the final <laughs> gift for each graduating fairy. Open these boxes Thanks. now and prepare yourselves to become one with the magic dimension. The plants, the 
trees. I hear their voices on the wind. I can understand every word, every one of their emotions. That, sweet Flora, is the difference between a fairy who uses flower magic and being the fairy of the flowers. I feel connected to every form of technology everywhere. Webtastic. I can hear all the music in the world, even the secret song in each person's heart, and I can sing it. The light of the sun, the moon, even the stars shine deep within me, and I feel like I can illuminate the entire world. I feel the sound of rain falling all over the world, every drop from the tiniest puddle to the deepest oceans. <sighs> School is out, girls. Your formal fairy education is now complete. As of today, your worlds will have brand new guardian fairies. <laughs> you. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Winx, I love you. Please, don't cry. Even though you are still beautiful with those tears in your eyes. Ah, that's better. My smiling bloom. Sky, my prince has come to save me. Here to rescue his damsel from her lonely tower. We're going to be late to the graduation ball. Let's pick up the pace. I'm not sure about the length. I want Brandon to notice my new shoes. Hmm? The probability hmm. that Brandon will even look at your feet once he sees that dress, pretty much zero. Girls? I normally wouldn't allow this sort of thing, but since today is such a special day... Knock, knock! Are there any guardian fairies in the house? Brandon, honey! <sighs> <laughs> the most enchanting and desirable of all guardian fairies. You're so sweet, thank you! I thought about bringing you a flower, but there's no flower that really? can compare to its beautiful guardian. Is it true? You're linked to every computer? To every electronic device in the world? Yes, I am. And I'm fast as fiber yeah. optics, too. <laughs> hey, don't play dumb, Riven. I saw you watching me all through the ceremony. <laughs> I thought I came here for a great party, not to just stand around here being laughed at. Riven, honey, why are you so cranky today of all days? I can't believe we made it. Our time here was just incredible. But I guess it's all over now. School's over. Our lives are just beginning. Or is that what's scaring you? Are you afraid you won't live up to all of their hopes? You always seem to understand me, Sky, don't you? I know all about it. About what? Other people and their expectations. But I know you're the best and you'll succeed beyond everyone's wildest dreams. Now go dress up. I can't wait to see you at tonight's party. Hey, look down there. It's Bloomin' Sky. We caught you both red-handed. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Lovebirds! They all made it in the end, and I didn't. Are you kidding? You're Bloom. Everyone knows you're the strongest fairy in Elfia. To protect your home world and your people. That's what makes a real guardian fairy. But I'm just a princess without a kingdom. I have no people to protect. My home world, Sparks, was totally destroyed. If only I had been able to find my parents, I would have really accomplished my mission. And I would have reached Harmony to become a rightful guardian fairy. I had a chance and hope, and now they're both gone. Hmm. The bloom I knew would never ever give up like that. Help! A sad little witch has taken place of the girl I love! Forget that old grouch, Hagen. Never give up. And as always, believe in yourself. And what you feel in your heart, you'll never truly lose. And don't forget, I'm your number one fan. I believe in you. There's something else I, I need to tell you, sweet Bloom. I'm really not supposed to say, but I want you to know. Oh, no! I have my orders to fulfill. 
I can't leave the planet without you. Hey, just five minutes, all right? How's ten seconds? <laughs> Sky, but what... what's going on? Who is that girl? Bloom, look, look, I'll explain everything to you as soon as I can, I promise. Bloom, don't worry. Everything is all right, trust me, but I have to go. Sky. No, please don't ask questions. I'll be back soon, then I won't ever leave you again. You're leaving me now. It's getting late. I love you, Bloom. Don't ever forget that. gathering on the quad? Bloom, you know it's not a party if you're not there. Listen, girls. Tonight is the very last night for us to be together on Althea. Flora's correct. We can't waste tonight just sleeping. That's right. Of course. I say it's time for a good old-fashioned pillow party. Don't you mean an old-fashioned pajama party? Mm. Mm. Hey, why are you guys looking at me like that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See how Ribbon was dancing? He was like this <laughs> and like that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wish I could only hear you right now. <laughs> I'm serious, girls. It's time to pack. Are you going back to Linfea? Yes. But it's hard to believe I'm going back as the new Fairy of Flowers. Don't worry, it'll be just like before, with just a few extra responsibilities. Like protecting the whole planet and its people and their happiness. Really, it'll be a piece of cake. It's like I always say, with great power comes great popularity. And you, Bloom? Going back to your Earth parents in Gardenia? Yes. Mike and Vanessa are waiting for me. I guess I'll help my mom in the flower shop for a while. Then, who knows? You're so lucky to have such good parents. We're all beginning our own new adventures. But no, nothing's going to change between all of us, Bloom. No matter what, we're always going to be best friends. Best friends forever. Forever and ever. Wings Club forever! <laughs> Goodbye, Althea.
look at her, Vanessa. She's like a wild bird in a tiny cage. It's true, this world's too small for her now. This is not her life anymore. I just want her to be happy again. And we won't be happy either until she is, Mike. It's up to us to do something. Sleep tight, sweet girl. Tomorrow will be a good day. I promise you. You'll be safe, little one. <laughs> you shall not get the power of the dragon fire. You'll never be alone, Blue. Daphne? Because true love knows no distance. It knows no boundaries. Listen to me, little sister. You must continue your search. You know it in your heart. Our parents are still alive. And now they are closer than ever. I need to speak with you, Bloom. Come to Light Rock. Come to me. Daphne? Daphne, where are you? <gasps> Bloom, my dear sweet sister. It is so good to see your face again. And yours too. You told me before that maybe our parents aren't... All is not lost. Are you really ready for this journey and all its grand and terrible dangers? Sister, you sacrificed yourself to save me. With your help, I'm ready for anything. I know you are. Father kept a magical tome called the Book of Fate. Its pages contain the entire story of our family's history. So if our parents are alive... The book will tell you... Wait, why haven't you told me about the book before? I was sure the ancestral witches had destroyed it when they attacked Sparks. But Father had hidden the sacred text of Sparks in the secret library, high on the mountain of the rock, where he was sure they would remain safe. Then I'll go back to our world and I'll find the book, no matter what. Nothing will stop me. Bloom, wait. There's just one more thing. It's my mask. Now, it's for you. When you wear this mask, you'll be looking through my eyes. You'll see sparks as I remember it, and it'll help you find your way. The mask will guide you to the Mountain of Rock. There, you'll find the secret library. Wait! Daphne! My power is growing weak. I must return to the depths of the lake no. to rest. Daphne, please don't leave. Bloom, this is not goodbye. Remember, I'll always be at your side. You'll never be truly alone, ever. And we'll be a family again, someday. Daphne? Thank you, Daphne. With your help, I know I can do it. Mom! Dad! Something incredible just happened to me! And something else is about to happen right about now. Surprise! <laughs> Don't tell me that you forgot. It's your birthday, Blue. Oh, Mama. This is the most beautiful surprise party. Uh, I... Well, thank you. Hey! 
making no one ever there's gonna be a party. I'm always first in line. It was all your mom's idea. But we handled the details. As for the gift, it wasn't easy for us to decide on one thing, you know? Thank you. <laughs> but really, seeing all of you again is the best present I could ever ask for. Are you really sure about that? Never mind, Sky. You can go back home. Sky? I'm here, <gasps> Bloom, just as I promised. Where have you been? I've called you 2,000 times, and your phone is always off ever since that night. Since that night, I've been on a challenging journey of my own. But there wasn't a day or night that I didn't think of you. And... <clears throat> I'm sure you two would like some alone time. But hey, what's this incredible news? Daphne came to me in a dream. My parents are alive. She asked me to go back to Sparks and find the secret library. The search isn't over. Then go for it, Bloom. You know we have your back. Always believe in yourself and trust what's in your heart. That's what you've always told me. And I believe. <laughs> wow, what an allergy. power of sparks. Something or someone is awakening it. But who? Who? We destroy the planet, all its inhabitants, even its king! No one has access to that power anymore! We must destroy that cursed sword. Only that will truly obliterate the power of sparks from the magical dimension. But how? The slightest touch almost destroyed us and killed every warrior who tried to get near it. My mistresses, Mandragora is at your service. Bestow upon your humble servant the power of dark energy, and I'll leave this cold prison of the Obsidian Circle so I may seek out the source of all your pain. So be it! Eternal darkness! And unchained lightning! Bottomless ice! Oh yes! Your mightiness flows freely within me now! I will find the last feeble flicker of sparks, and when I do, I'll snuff it out with my own two hands! <laughs> We're now entering the magnetosphere of planet Sparks, so you may experience some minor turbulence. Minor, my butt. about it. Bloom, listen to me. About that talk we were having back at your house. I know you've been looking for me all these months, wondering where I was, and... I've been waiting for you for four months. I can wait a few more hours. But right now we have a mission and I have to stay focused. You mean you don't even want to know? I can wait. I trust you. Enough, you two. In this frozen desert, I'm having trouble pinpointing a landmark. Can you imagine that this was once the most beautiful planet of the magic dimension? Yeah, before it was all destroyed by the fury of the ancestral witches. And now there's no longer a trace of its former splendor, nor of its inhabitants. No signs of life. Daphne's mask will help us here. He was right. I can see Sparks as it used to be. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Follow me! Mm. Bloom, are you sure we're on the right track? Believe it or not, the mask is guiding me perfectly. It's Daphne's mask! Yes, in the dream she gave it to me to help us with our search. We should use the motorbikes from here. With the mist, it's impossible to see anything from the air. What can you see?
Are you actually trying to pass me, Sky? How can you always insist on humiliating yourself? You were actually going so slow I thought Musa had fallen asleep. Oh yeah? Then we'll see you at our destination, tough guy. In a few hours. You need to stop acting so childish. Second, Bloom, is that mountain the mountain of the rock? Yes, yes it is. I didn't think it was. Guys, do you see what I see? Bloom, the stories say your father, King Oratel, protected the library by building it on a predator bird called Rock. It's a mythological animal, until now, no one was even sure of its existence. It seems that the mountain is actually its nest. Then that's exactly where we have to go now. We better split up. You guys get searching for the book, and we'll handle the rock. Got it. Leave it to us. This is the sort of thing we specialists specialize in. Cross our fingers. Relax, that rope they're climbing is actually a vine stronger than steel. Get it in gear, Sky. I don't want to be hanging around out here all day. Why don't you speak a little louder? I don't think that bird you were trying to avoid hurt you. Who asked you, Helia? I didn't think it was possible. But Riven seems even grumpier than usual. The bird won't even notice us. We're too small to even make a decent snack. Right. Just as long as it doesn't oh! Oh! take off. Ah! Relax. This is one of the things we specialists specialize in, right? In that case, can I change my specialty? No! Brandon! Come back to me, my sweetheart! Quick, we must transform ourselves and chase after that dreadful Stella. No, the rock is just too fast for us. If we want to save the boys, we've got just one option. What's that, Bloom? Back to the ship. But hurry, we have to get there quickly. Help! Help! Watch out, Timmy! Grab my hand! I can't reach it! Try again! The vine is starting to break! Oh, oh no! Ah! Timmy! Ah! Ah, that was too close. Hey, what's that? The vine knew just what I was thinking. Timmy is safe. Now we just need to figure out what all these buttons are supposed to do. Buttons? Lights, knobs, ugh, crazy boy stuff. Give me my wings and magic any old day. I doubt we would have reached them with our wings, Stella. Now we have to calm down the rock. That's not gonna be easy. It's furious. No, it's not furious. It's just scared. You're saying that oversized turkey just needs a lullaby? Musa, do you think you could use your powers to calm it down? I can try. It's no use. We're too far away. Can we get closer? Sure we can. Hold on. Fury up and drop! Come on. It looks like we're about to be saved, huh? We're getting closer. We're almost there. Get a little closer. Yes, let's try again. Now I just have... Ah! 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 Oh, oh my head. Oh no! Tecna! The mountain! I see it! Kinda hard to miss. Do something! Turn! Hurry! Yes! They all made 
made it! You hear that, Riven? They're all safe. So you can stop worrying yourself sick. Who's worried? I'm just hanging out here. <laughs> Let's try it again. Just watch out for the wings this time. We've lost them. They disappeared in all those clouds. Stella, can you do something? Look for a clear patch of sun. It's also good for my tan. Cloud Breaker! Get ready to dance, Tecna. Okay, Musa. Now it's your turn. I'll do it. Power of Harmony! Musa. Brandon, we Sky. got it! Timmy! You oh, girls are great! Wait. <laughs> Could it be that my mistresses were wrong? Fox looks like nothing but a cold, dead planet. Wait! What was that surge I felt? I sent something powerful. Could they possibly be to worry my mistresses so much? None of that matters to me. I have but one target now. What's it say? No, don't tell me. No, it doesn't say your parents are. No, I can't read it. I don't know what it says. You won't have to. <gasps> Look out! Everyone, step oh. back. Fear not, young Bloom. I am Lord Bartleby. I was your father's scribe and official keeper of this book, and I have been waiting for you for many years, young princess. You've been waiting for me? But of course, and I am so happy to see you are well. When the ancestral witches attacked Sparks, your father risked his life to protect this book and preserve it here for you. You knew my parents? Please tell me, are they alive? The book. Ah, found it. This chapter is on Oratel and Marion. Your parents were the last rulers of Sparks. Hey, it's their wedding picture! Isn't that the most amazing dress? It's simply incredibulous! Look at their eyes. There's so much strength there. River. Huh? River. Huh? There's more. That must be Daphne. <laughs> Look at you two. Mm -hmm. You're oh. both so sweet. Bartles, baby, show us more cute baby pictures of our balloon, please. I beg your pardon? Don't hold out on us. It's a big book. There must be lots of pictures. I'm sorry, miss. Just what you see. I must apologize, but we have to be quick. Time's of the essence. Ugh, you're such a boring guy. Now, when I turn the page... Wow! It's the Company of Light just before their fight against the evil witches. Headmistress Faragonda's in there too. Look how young she looks. One more page, Bartleby. I must know what happened. How odd. There's no answer. Your parents have disappeared into the Obsidian Cave, and not even this book can say for sure what happened beyond that dark doorstep. Does that mean that they're dead? No, Princess. They're just lost. I'm afraid I know nothing more. I don't believe it. The Book of Fate's a dead end. Wait a minute. Lord Bartleby. The book knows the fate of all the members of the Sparks royal family, doesn't it? Well, of course it does. So there must be a chapter on Bloom. Of course! Why didn't we think of that sooner? If yeah. Bloom's fate is to search for her parents, then... That book can help us find out where they are. Hmm. 
Is that river? Who's there? If it is your will, Bloom. We can turn the page and see what the book says about your future. But be warned, finding out could be very dangerous. I'm ready, Bartleby. I have to know. Hmm. Very interesting. Your entire destiny converges on a single prophecy that was passed down from the most ancient elders of Sparks. At the crossroads of the Endless Roads, demons of stone lead to the abyss of the caged people. A king without a crown will save another king of a lost kingdom, and the six of the fellowship that defends light will shine with dazzling strength in the evil darkness. And what was lost will be found once again. But I don't understand. What does this have to do with my parents? Ah! I think you hurt the book's feelings. And Bartleby, you're fading like cheap fabric. My time in this dimension is running out. When pages are added to the book of the Sparks' royal family history, I'll be back to add them. And now I take my leave of you. It has been a great pleasure to be of service to you, my Princess Bloom. Bartleby, what does the last page of my future actually say? Hmm. It says nothing, Princess. Nothing? But what does that mean? It means that your future has not been written yet. You'll have to be the one to define the end of this entire story. Don't you forget that, ever. Goodbye. Wait, Bartleby, please! Oh! Uh, Riven! Uh, oh, give him room. Don't crowd over Let's him. Let's bring him back to Alfia. Oh, Riven. Riven? Riven, can you hear me? Can you sir relax? He's so stubborn, I bet he'll be out before... Uh, Riven, you're okay! Oh, uh, oh I did it! I cured uh, Riven! Welcome back, Riven. We missed you. Riven? How many fingers am I holding up, my friend? Come on. Two! But I am most certainly not your friend, you pathetic little two. But I am most certainly not your friend. Now! Now that they are all weak and confused, this is the best moment to really attack! Then go, Mandragora, and be certain you don't come back empty-handed! The Obsidian Circle, you said? So you've heard of it. Do you know what it is? Unfortunately, yes, my dear. It's said to be a secret entrance to a dark and terrible place, a vast dimension of ultimate fear and pain. The scary image we saw written in the Book of Fate, that was Obsidian. So it's the Nightmare Realm where monsters and the most horrible of creatures are all caged. Yes, the story that every child in Magics hears when he or she misbehaves is true. And the gate of the Black Circle of Obsidian is what keeps evil distant. And that is where the three ancestral witches are generated. So my parents, they could be... Let's hope not. Anyone who enters Obsidian is hopelessly lost, corrupted by absolute evil. <gasps> With the power of my grand mistresses, there is nothing that can stop me. There. You really don't want to know. We're all under attack. I better get changed. The school year just started. Althea is filled with freshman fairies. Which means there'll be no help to us. Specialists, <sighs> it's time for action. And always remember, girls, when using that spell outdoors. <laughs> don't panic, girls. <laughs> no! You monster! You don't scare me! Super vibration! Are you hungry for a little more? Okay then, by the absolute...
absolute power of darkness, I command you to... You better! Huh? Shame on you, little youngster. That's not necessary. Using dark magic to repel a monster. Besides, it'll take more than this pathetic bug to stop your old transformation, Professor. Many have tried to conquer Althea. Surely the first to succeed will not be a giant worm! Flaming Blades! Nice catch. I got him. Now you get him. Excellent timing, boys. It's up to us to hold off the rest of these monsters and give all the girls a chance to escape. Let's put this overgrown flea to sleep. Girls, go help the others. Leave our next guest to me. But... Uh -huh. Hagen, I can take care of myself, thank you. Huh? Then you better take care of that witch. Does the name Mandragora sound familiar to you? Mandragora? Here? <laughs> Impossible. Who is Mandragora? Run! This is not a good time for explanations. For magic! Ah! Why are you villains always surrounded by these horrible, smelly monsters? Run from Mandragora, keeper of the Obsidian Circle! A giant nightmare! Oh. My fireball's not working! about your hairstyles, ladies! They won't matter for much longer when all our fear crumbles! <laughs> you girls go look for a shelter, or I'll have you all put in detention! Inspector Grisella, you can't talk to us like that! We graduated! <laughs> Pathetic old woman! Infinite darkness! You will not... Succeed! Ugh. I'm too powerful for you! Inside me churns the fury of the three great ancestral witches! Who? Who dares? If I didn't know better, I would swear it was alumni weekend around here. Heraconta, you'll be damned! But first, you face my evil insect armada! Swarm and attack! Are you talking about them? You'll all pay for this! Winks commence! Everyone focus! Converge! Energy of Mother Earth! Techno Magical Union! Pure Enchanted Morphics! <laughs> We've got him! Don't let go, Bloom. I don't know how she managed to crawl out of that dark pit, but by the power of all that is good and light, I order you to return to your abyss! Bloom! So that's her name! She's the one I was looking for! We did it! No, the school. It's completely destroyed. Oh. Uh, uh. Headmistress Ferragonda, no! Is she okay? We need to get her help. I looked everywhere, and these are the only healing ointments I could find. How's Ferragonda doing? She's going to be fine, Palladium. She just used too much of her power all at once. However, many of the students were seriously injured. This is a sad day for all of Althea. See how useful I am, Kiko? 
I try to find my parents, and instead I awaken some ancient evil that we all thought was buried forever. The three ancestral witches. The absolute evil. Oh, when will they stop tormenting me? <laughs> Do you think the book knows? and let me give you a squeeze. Oh, Magix knows about Althea's destruction. We're here to help rebuild. Hi, look who's here. <laughs> Fairy of the flowers, you look so beautiful. Do you have any flowers to show? Geranium, daylily, tulip, daisy, daffodil, or do you prefer big wildflowers? So nice to see and hear you again, Chatter. The guardian fairy of music. I'm just so very proud of you. Give me a big smile for the camera. Did you girls come here just to cheer us all up? We're to put Althea back on its feet. And we brought plenty of good things for you to eat. And healing ointments for all of your wounds. Because life must go on and there are plenty of good times together yet to come. Oh, Chatter. <laughs> If only we could all remember to act this way. Every time we had a problem. And Mistress Farragonda, what are you doing out of bed? Bloom, I need to talk to you. To me? Yes, I don't want you to think that I no longer believe in your dreams. You'll find out how important it is to have people who believe in you. To those who truly love you, you'll never be a burden. Trust them and me, Bloom. Yes, I'll remember. I will. <sighs> me too. I'll remember. So the power of sparks is not contained in an object. It's a person. It's just a fairy. Yes, an annoying fairy called Blue. Ah, Blue. Blue, King Oratel's remaining daughter. Daphne managed to save her before. Before we could kill her. <laughs> Kidnapping her while I was at Althea would have been impossible. She has so many strong friends and allies. Farragonda. And hug! Sparagonda and Hogan and the Company of Light! Ah, oh, may they all burn forever for exiling us to this horrid place! Not for long, sisters! Now all we have to do is wait for the fairies to come here and fall right into our trap! And that ribbon should prove to be very useful! My insect's poison worked perfectly, and now he is my own personal puppet, ready to do my evil bidding. But we can't allow the Dragon's Flame to come here and burn us. Oh, the prophecy, sisters. Do you remember? Well, then the prophecy won't be fulfilled. We will personally prevent it from happening. <laughs> we have no other choice. If we want to find Bloom's parents, then we're off to the whacked out world of Obsidian. But that place is forbidden. Unless you're made of pure cruelty, just being there has extremely negative effects. Obsidian would drain our powers, making the chances of us finding anything there exactly zero. Bloom is her friend. I know we should do what we can to help her, but... But nothing. What we should be worried about now is figuring out how to get there. Yes, let's show Bloom that we still remember what it means to be Winx and that we'll never forget, right? Stella, have you gone colorblind or something? If you ran out of nail polish, you could have borrowed some of mine. A trendsetter like me never borrows nail polish from anyone. Uh, what do you know anyway? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. Be good now. I've already asked Wizgiz to send you back to Gardenia to stay with Mike and Vanessa. <gasps> Where do you think? 
think you're going? Girls, I'm off to Obsidian. I know I have to go there. And go alone. Yeah, yeah. Let me guess. You don't want to put anyone else in mortal danger, right? The three ancestral witches are all still alive. And they're in Obsidian. That's true. And if they're working their evil magic... Then as guardian fairies, it would be irresponsible for us not to help you. We start it all together, and we'll end this all together. That's right. And so admit it, you know you didn't want to go all by yourself. Now let's go see if those cute specialists will give us a ride. Hello! And where are you all going? <laughs> I could try to stop the girls from going there, but I know they wouldn't listen. Farragonda. You should be very proud of them all. I am, Hagen, I am. But I'm also worried. How far can they go on just their courage alone? They're all the same age we were, and you've taught them the true value of universal good. Now winning is up to them. Now our first objective is to find the Black Gate. That's the portal of Obsidian. But the Black Gate was sealed a long time ago. We're going to need Locket and the Tree of Portals back at the Pixies Village. See? I knew you were going to need us. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm being watched. The Tree of Portals holds the key for every door in every world in the entire magical dimension. It has to be our first stop. Bloom, we still haven't had a chance to talk. I still have to tell you. What? That there's something romantic going on between you and that mean girl in the uniform? What? No way, Bloom. Don't even joke about something like that. Great. That's good enough for now. But it'd only take a second. <laughs> Girls. Don't you worry, Bloom. We'll handle it. You stay here. No, you can't. I have to do this. I must. Trust them, Bloom. Can we come too? I'll make sure you pixies stay out of trouble. Are you ready, girls? Wow. This is a new perspective. Ah, oh, I'm so tiny only ants and bugs would notice me. Goodbye, Bloom. See you later. We'll be back in a flash. There are so many keyholes. How do you know that's the right one? Hey! You know all of your crazy electronic gizmos, and I know portals! Look! I had no idea there were so many locks in the magic dimension. Every door has its own key! Wow! We've seen some amazing things, but nothing like this! Hey, lock it! Find anything? No, nothing. Oh! <laughs> you scared me. I love trying out new magical jokes. That's why they call me Jolly. What? They're all so beautiful. Yes, they are. Oh! Watch out, Jolly! Run! Help! 
say your act still needs a little work. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh, what a big mess! Oh no, the explosion scrambled the keys! Look it! The keys in here somewhere! Focus! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! Hmm. <gasps> Uh-oh! No. Come on. You can do it. Don't give up. Come on, Lockett. You must hurry. Would you guys please chill? It's right over there. Yippee! <laughs> Lockett, I'm just so proud of you. I wish I could have been there. You are the best. Ooh, welcome to Obsidian, the perfect vacation spot for people you hate. Yes, remind me to thank you girls for bringing me to this special paradise. Hey, this is no joke. The evil here is so strong, I can already feel my powers weakening. It's a good thing we left the pixies back in the village. These levels of evil radiation could easily kill them. And let's not forget, this place is ugly. I don't care how evil you are, there's no excuse for a total disregard of style. Oh. Hey, Bloom, something tells me this is the right place. Yes, that must be the portal. And that looks like the lock for our key. Okay, there's no turning back now. If anyone has any ideas, this would be a good time. Oh, earthquake! Oh! 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 Look, the pathway's open up for us. And that was only the beginning. On the other side, we'll find the answers we're looking for. Okay, so who's gonna take the first step? Ew! Totally gross! Actually, it's really not so bad. It kinda tickles. Greetings! Oh, her again? Oh, brother! A trap! You girls keep moving, we'll hold them off! Attack! No! Where are you going? Excuse me, but I... <clears throat> What's gotten into you? Nice kick, Sky. But you're too late! No! Your friends will be easy enough to handle now. And the Winks, they've started on their journey of no return! <laughs> Riven, why did you do it, my love? No! No! Musa! Riven! We've got to help them! Girls! Yoo-hoo! Is anyone out there? Nothing! It's like the mall on a Monday! Bloom! Techno! Layla? Stella? Can you hear me? Logically, this is impossible. I've got no signal at all, as if all data has ceased to exist. Oh! Uh, uh, help! Help me! The prophecy wasn't wrong. At the crossroads of endless roads, demons of stone lead to the abyss. But these plants, where are they coming from? I can't even sense their life essence. Like they're all dead! Uh! Too much data! All conflicting information overload. Systems crash and logic meltdown. My head, my circuits are jammed. My hands. Okay, I'm just disappearing a little. It's no big deal. But I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too beautiful to fade away. This darkness is so much stronger than me. Marion! This is the story of the Company of Light. It's history. No, this must be a trap left by the ancestral witches. 
That's the vortex of dark energy where they disappeared with my parents. from the Book of Fate. Girls! Oh. What happened to us? My own Morphix attacked me. I was being attacked by evil, lifeless plants. I... I was vanishing. What a horrible sensation. The witches know what scares us most, and they're using it all against us. It's the ultimate weapon. But now we're here, which means we've conquered our fears. But wait. That's got to be Hagen's sword. And this statue. This is a statue of my father, Oratel. Why is it here? It's not, not a statue, statue, you pathetic girl. Don't you recognize him? It's your father in stone and bones. <laughs> uh, no, father! Oh, we enjoyed torturing him all those years. <laughs> so he could share the fate of all the people of Sparks. Say hello to the people of Sparks, Princess Bloom. Your kingdom isn't lost, Bloom, just eternally petrified. What? Don't you recognize them? Perhaps you'd like us to give you a closer look. Oh, stop! That vile company of light defeated us, forcing our spirits into this dark place. But not having a body isn't a problem with boring them is so easy. No! Our powers feel drained in this realm! I know, it's like having weak batteries! Yes! Our powers are weakening, little fairies! Look out, Tecna! Strong. We just can't go on. Girls, what's happening to you all? They're falling prey to the darkness, and you seem immune to it. The strength still burning within you. The same strength that powered the sword. Welcome, Vivin, to your new home. A place of no hope. A place of darkness. Now, before meeting your new friends, we'll just kill off your old ones. Ah! Ah! Huh? Oh, we have been exiled in this prison for too long! It's time to be free again! And look at your father, Oritel, trapped in here right along with the evil he fought so hard against! Behold ah! his sword, so charged with Spark's power that we can't even touch it, never mind destroy it. Still, it taunts us! We failed in all our attempts to possess your father's body. His will was too powerful. With his will alone, he prevailed over the most evil warriors from every dimension. All died at his slightest touch. In you flows Spark's royal bloodline, the power of the dragon flame. Only you can raise the flame and destroy the sword. And then everything will be over. We'll even let you go back to your school and forget this whole horrible nightmare. No! My own vital energy runs through this sword. Destroying it would be like destroying myself and everything that the power of Sparks represents. So, Miss Bloom, need a little more convincing? When was the last time we looked in on Mike and Vanessa? What might they be doing right about now, hmm? <laughs> Mike? Vanessa? What do you want from them? Not from them, Bloom. From you. Destroy the sword and their lives will be spared. After killing those wretched specialists, it might be fun for Madragora to finish the job by killing your adoptive parents as well. She's there right now, just waiting for our orders. It's your choice, Bloom. Do you keep trying to save the life of a father you've never known? Or do you save the lives of the people who took you in and raised you and gave you so much love? Someone will live and someone will die, and it is you who must choose. Did you think I'd fall for that? <laughs> Have you lost your mind, little princess? <laughs> I've never seen Mike hold the cat without sneezing his head off. If that really was him, then his allergies would act up, and he couldn't play with the cat. And seriously, Mandragora is a joke. There's no way she could have beaten all the specialists. Dragon's Flame Spear! <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
You'll pay dearly for this, Mandragora! Come on, guys! It's time to do some exterminating! Finally! I've been waiting for this! Musa, are you okay? I'm a fairy. I know how to protect myself. What happened to you, my love? I was under the control of Mandragora, and I've had a hard time trying to figure out what it is I'm fighting for. Have you finally figured out what you're fighting for, Riven? I've always known it. For you. Let's get moving! That gate's coming down pretty quickly! Mandragora, come back to us! Brandon, you guys take care of these bugs! I'll follow Mandragora. No problem, Sky. We have everything under control. Take that! Uh, uh, what's happening? Even your powers are doomed to vanish in this place, little princess. Do it, Bloom. Take a Boratel sword and destroy it! The man who forged it told me only a truly pure-hearted king could hold the sword. Then perhaps I should take care of it. Sky! You made it! Yes, be our guest, young Master Sky. No, no, <laughs> don't do it! You're not a king yet! No! No, Sky! My love, no! Sky! No! No! The sword bloom! It killed the man you love. All the more reason to destroy it! My friends! Sky! My nightmares come true! I can't do this all alone! Bloom, you're not alone. Daffy! They say you only die once, but in your case, you'll be happy to make an exception. <laughs> you thought you destroyed the power of sparks. Now it destroys you. Now let's do it, Daphne. Together. No! Just in time, Mandragora! Let me give you a hand. No, please. No. You thought you could defeat the powers of ultimate darkness. Instead, you have doomed everyone you love to the infinite grip of evil. So what's new with you? Sky! I must know, how were you able to draw my father's sword? Only the king can touch the sword, and I am the king. My coronation was the night I had to leave you. I'm the new king of Heraklion. Why didn't you tell me this before? Sweet Bloom, I tried to tell you many times, but I just couldn't find the right moment to do it. So that means the prophecy was right. A king without a crown will save a king of a lost kingdom. And, and what, what was, was lost, lost will be again. again. And just as a vortex of dark energy had trapped the inhabitants of Sparks, now a good energy can return the people to freedom.
my Marion. Oh, Marion. Oh. I've missed you so. It was torture having you so close when I couldn't touch you. Even then I was by your side, and there I'll remain forever. Mother, father, Daphne, what has happened to you? More than I could possibly explain. But all that matters now is that you're free, and it's all thanks to my sister, Bloom. It can't be. <gasps> my sweet baby daughter. <gasps> oh. Oh, a Bloom. Celebration for the rebirth of Sparks? What could be better? Are you sure you're feeling up to this? Invite me to dance, and you might find out for yourself. You're a beautiful princess, Bloom, but you'll always be my little girl. A special child, for sure, with a noble heart and big smiling eyes. You can't imagine how many times I've dreamt of this moment, and now it's here. Who knows how many times we've both had that same dream. Can a father steal a few moments with his own daughter? Or would you rather stay here chatting with your mother? Dad! You had to grow up without us. And since we weren't able to be there for the first half of your life, Bloom, we promise that we will be there for the rest. We know you didn't raise yourself, and we're very grateful for those who stood by you. That's why we invited them here, so we could both thank them personally. Hey. Mike! Vanessa! Hey, look at you. You're a real princess now. But then, you were always a princess to us, even without all of this. Now, if you'll excuse us. Bloom, would you please honor me in the traditional father-daughter dance? It is a great Sparks <laughs> custom for a king to dance with his daughter. Bloom. I think there's someone else who would like to share in the honor of dancing with you. You, you look, look so... so... Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to tell you something. You were so brave. Huh. Brave would have been breaking Arachlian laws, telling you that I was to become king, and then having to face the most severe consequences and disciplinary actions. And what disciplinary actions those would have been, Your Highness. Neglecting your responsibilities for Moonlight Dance. <laughs> <laughs> King of Arachleon, I suppose I should start calling you Your Majesty from now on and greet you with deep bows. <laughs> no, I'll be thanking you, Princess. Thanking you for your trust, for your eyes, and for your love. Hey, Bloom! Huh? Uh, the dance can't start without you! Come on! I've got to show off this delicious new dress! <laughs> Stella, I would never deny you the chance to dance. And thus, the fairy that was searching for her origins learned to believe in herself and to trust the people she loved. She stayed true to herself and to what she believed in and won her greatest battle, saving her kingdom, freeing her people, and reuniting her family. And finally, becoming a true guardian fairy. And now, written in the Book of Fate, there's a new company of light, the Winx. Stupid girl. We played them like puppets. They've destroyed Obsidian for us, and now at last we're free. Now we just have to borrow some other bodies. Those little fairies flew right into our devious web. <laughs> and soon we'll rip their stupid little fairy wings right off their bodies. <laughs> Promises have 
Waking for the first time. Waking for the very first time. 